Welcome to my channel All Grow where you will get food facts and food science related videos. Aim of this video to find food preservation. Spoilage of food, thus allowing it to be stored in a safe condition for future use. All foods gradually undergo deterioration or spoilage from the time they are harvested or manufactured. Some commodities spoil rapidly, while others can keep for longer but limited periods. with proper care. They contain comparatively much less level of moisture content and also contain natural inhabitants to spoilage such as roots, vegetables and eggs. These include potatoes, flour, roasted oil seeds, biscuits, onions, dried fruits and dehydrated foods. Some other examples of prepared foods are pasteurized milk, smoked fish and pickled Perishable foods are those which deteriorate or spoil quickly after harvesting and cannot be kept for more than a day or a two without affecting their quality. These food stuffs have a higher degree of moisture content and are highly susceptible to spoilage. The typical example of such foods include most fruits and vegetables, meat, milk, fish, poultry. Principles of Food Preservation or delay of microbial decomposition of food by keeping out microorganisms as access by removal of microorganism filtration by hindering the growth or activity of microorganisms use of low temperature drying creating anaerobic conditions or using chemicals by killing the moisture by killing the microorganisms using heat or radiation
natural covering or providing artificial covering around the food. Natural barriers in foods include outer shell of nuts, example almonds, walnuts, the skin or peel of fruit and vegetables, example banana, mango, citrus fruits, alcohol, etc. Shells of eggs, the skin of fat and meat, husk of ear corn, etc. Similarly, baking prevents entry of microorganisms in the food. For example, meat or mushroom sealed in a tin can. Clean vessels under hygienic surroundings helps in preventing spoilage of milk during collection and processing by keeping out the microorganism. Second, by removal of microorganisms, filtration. Filtration of liquid foods through bacteria proof filtration is a common method for complete removal of microorganisms from the food. Liquid foods are passed through the filters made of suitable material and allowed to percolate through either with or without nano filtration, etc. Work from this principle, centrifugation, sedimentation, trimming and washing, etc. can also be used but are not very effective. or chilling temperature like most fruits and vegetables, meat, poultry, fresh milk and milk products, under freezing temperature like frozen peas, mushrooms, etc. B. By drying of food commodity. Removal of water from the food to a level at which microorganisms fail to grow is an important method of food preservation. Moisture can be removed by the application of heat as in sun drying and in mechanical drying. Or by binding the moisture with addition of sugar, as in jam and jelly, high salt in raw mango, and making it unavailable to the microorganisms. Examples include cosmetic dehydration, dried grapes, apricots, onion, cauliflower, etc. By creating anaerobic conditions, anaerobic condition can be created by removal of air or oxygen from the package, replacement of air by carbon dioxide or inert gas like nitrogen. Lack of oxygen prevents growth of any surviving bacteria and they are exposed under such conditions. Production of carbon dioxide during fermentation and its accumulation at the surface is the condition anaerobic to prevent the growth of anaerobes. Carbonation of drinks and storing fresh food under controlled atmospheres serves the same purpose. Canned food in which the food is seen after removal of air eliminates this principle. Anaerobic bacteria and their spores present, however, need to be killed to prevent the food from being spoiled. The layer of oil on top of any food prevents growth of microbes like molds and yeast by preventing exposure to air. D. By use of chemicals. Appropriate quantity of certain chemicals added to the food can hinder the undesirable spoilage in the food by interfering with the cell membrane of microorganisms, their enzyme activity or their genetic mechanism by acting as an antioxidant. Food. By killing the microorganisms. E. Use of heat. Coagulation of proteins and inactivation of their metabolic enzymes by application of heat leads to destruction of microorganisms in the food. high temperature also inactivates the enzyme process in the food. Foods can be eaten either at temperature below 20 degrees Celsius or at 30 degrees Celsius or at temperature above 100 degrees Celsius. First, pasteurization. Treatment 
of milk adds Preservation on the basis of food preservation principles. 